Let's start with 10 times Amitofo and then silent meditation for one minute. Amitofo. 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 One minute silent meditation. Amitofo. Let's continue with uh, chapter uh, four, which is the last one. So, uh, Liao Fan, uh, four lessons. Um, so, last week we talked about chapter four. We just introduced chapter four because we're finishing the stories. Uh, remember, this is more like an overview rather than an actual one by one, point by point. Um, uh, explanation. Uh, if uh, we have another round, uh, if we want to go in depth, uh, I need to do more preparations so that uh, I can give a better, you know, modern example and even more elaborate reasonings. But uh, for now, I'm just going to give a, a good overview. Uh, so from the chapter of ch last week, chapter four, we talk about the importance of humility. So chapter four, Liao Fan talks about the uh, importance of humility, the virtues of humility, and and how humility helps you um, preserve your merits, uh, bring your uh, level, uh, how to say, your cultivation level to another another stage, um, and obviously the result, the karmic result, is even uh, better. So, without uh, how to say, afraid of repeating myself. Um, uh, I Ching, he start with I Ching straight away, and I Ching is important because all Confucius, Taoism, they all share the same root. To be honest, uh, if you study Ru, uh, Ru is Confucius, Tao is Taoist, the Chinese original philosophies and not just philosophy, uh, teachings, uh, way of life, this uh, shares the same root. And I Ching. Um, is written by Confucius, but the principle it derived from is shared, and and all this talks about is the observation of a nature, and how they use the observation rather than just simply what we call scientific use. He used it in moral, virtue, cultivation level. So um, this one he has observed that the heavenly principles, which is the way of the world, the way of the like uh, universe, they always rewards the hum the humble, and uh, takes away from those who are full of themselves, which is arrogant. Takes away from the pride, um, the way of the land, so heaven and land. The way of the land, how how things works, is they will always uh, how to say, move uh, the soil or anything from something like 
mountain into a valley. So this is the observation of nature, but he used it in a moral and virtual way. He used it for the human uh, what is it, education rather than just simply scientific. So, and then the spirits, now this is uh, what we modern people call religious area, but he say that the spirits uh, will always um, teach a lesson to the, for those who are pride, prideful, and always will bless those who are humble. Uh, not just our uh, Chinese, like not just the Chinese uh, traditional uh, teachings and or Buddhism, but you can see around around the world the uh, world religions, the main religions. Even uh, I think I believe your Aboriginal, like because I'm in Australia, Aboriginal Australians or Native Americans, they all have that uh, foundation that you know, be humble, do not be prideful. Uh, Bible has mentioned so many. Uh, how humble was being blessed, uh, and how the people who are prideful they will be they will be punished in a sense. So this came in a Confucius teaching as well. As you can see, this is a world uh, uh, international principle or even universal principle. And so the human, so us, human dislikes prideful people, as in really arrogant people, and. Uh, prefers those who are humble, uh, really likes to get close to humble people. Uh, therefore, because of all this observation, which I would say, I would dare to say it's universal, uh, therefore this uh, calculation of humble humility is the only calculation among all the calculation in the I Ching that are always prosperous because everything else Every scenarios, they are always positive, negative. They're always something good, but with something bad hidden behind. But only humility has hundred percent, um, hundred percent good, no bad. So if you humble, always good, no bad. Obviously, there's a catch, and as you can see, uh, in, in behind. But uh, if we practice humility, that means we also need to practice patience. Uh, because hum humble means you're able to take in and hey, able, like a valley. Uh, no matter what you're taking, is a beautiful, crystal clear uh, mountain water, spring water, or people's excrements. Like, like good and bad, you are able to take it, able to uh, merge them together, able to uh, have a big heart. So that's why humble is such a prosperous thing, because you are able to take in everything. So... Back to Liao Fan, he used the Shu Jing, uh, which is another five uh, classics of Confucius. Uh, basic principle, the arrogance brings harm, brings disasters. The um, hum huge, humble people always brings benefit to themselves. Uh, so he used the example of his contemporaries who are going for examinations um, because examinations back then is such important things as you can see in the whole Liao Fan scenario. Uh, once you get through that passing the examination, you're set for life. Um, basically, you get into work for Microsoft in a sense, in our way. Um, you don't have to worry unless you do something wrong. So um, basically, <clears throat> He says that his his fellow examiner, I mean his fellow students, his fellow classmates, uh, one of them is very uh, humble. Uh, I think I mentioned uh, I bring this example last week, Mr. Ding, and he, and then I'll just move on. And he was being humble. He does not uh, try to do everything uh, first. He's trying. He's not trying to go for the first, as in he doesn't have the like a strong competitive kind of mindset. Which is counterintuitive to what we have now. Like, what we have now is we 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 tend to think like you know we got to get competitive, we got to get things done right and all that. Um, I would I would say that uh, as a personal virtue kind of thing, a person who are humble does not mean they don't have the ability to um, bring out something to the group they have. But humble as in they have something very good but they choose not to show it for the sake of showing it. Um, only showing, there's a saying in Chinese is, 你不随便亮道, so you do not flash your sword uh, 
quickly. You hide the sword in the scabbard, which is the xue, in the scabbard. And no matter what happened, confrontation or anything, so I'm talking about Kung Fu, which is quite famous, right? Everyone knows Chinese equals to Kung Fu, thanks to Bruce Lee. Um, so they always like hide it, hide it, hide it in the scabbard. No matter what you do, they will do that evasive movement or Tai Chi movement, but they will never show their sword. The only time they show their, their actual sword is when they really have to deal with it, like where they really have to you know, show the edge. Uh, situation demands in old days in terms of war and all that. But uh, in, in, in everyday capacity, dealing with normal, uh, you know, civilian situation or in our terms, we just every day go to office and all that. You don't have to do that. You don't have to keep showing your competitive edge or something like that. So I believe that we can accept. So we, we should probably understand it in this way that humility is not about, um, how to say, weakness or it's not about uh, how to say, you cannot do anything, unable or soft. Being able to be soft uh, is actually, in Chinese, is that's the way you roke gang, the soft can overcome the hard. Um, like, no matter how hardy a man is, uh, hardy uh, 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 someone is, when they go back to the family, to his own wife, to his own daughter, he will be soft. And outside, no one can touch him, no one can bully him. But when he go back, when his daughter say, I want to go on, on your uh, shoulders, he will let the, his daughter or his son to ride on his shoulders. And that is a very classic example of soft overcomes the heart. Always, all the time. No matter like all these soldiers fighting in front front line, uh, why, what do they do it for? Uh, they do it for their children, for their family. So because of the soft, they have to harden themselves. So back to this um, hump humility, same thing. If you want to do big things, great things, high things, like, like important things, you have to humble yourself first. You have to learn. You have to be um, able to listen. You have to be able to hold your emotions. Um, let the energy gather up, uh, positive energy and all that. You need to learn from whoever teaching you who might not be uh, kind in tone but if you learn something from it he's a teacher so um back to the point is back uh in in this case mr ding right he went to examination and before that he has observing his attitudes so using that understanding we understand this he um did not uh how to say not just being very respectful and very uh courteous letting other people first no matter what they do, you know, lighting up, getting food from the canteen. Also, when he was being humiliated, he do not answer. Now, this is an example of people who are able to hold it, right? I'm pretty sure someone like him who can pass the examination, which has a passing rate of 10% of China population, guys, 10% is even lower than, I think it's as low or even lower than modern Chinese uh, Gaokao in a way, I think which is the high uh, high school examination. Um, and and people who can do that is not, guys, is not a fool. Uh, he's very smart. It's just he don't use his wit on something like this. So he choose not to answer, guys. He choose not to answer. So he do not answer any humiliative uh, questions on him. So someone maybe you know, trying to prank or even worse, they're trying to uh, dig on him, like trying to make it, uh, make fun of him, laugh at him, but he did not say that. Or even slander, he did not try to de uh, debate and defend himself on slanders. Uh, people like him, who can be such respectful and such patience, such humility that constitute humility, patience, respect, uh, and big heart, uh, say human will respect him, not just human. The spirits and the ghost, the heaven and you can say the gods, or the god, or heaven uh, and earth, everywhere, everything else, they will always protect this person. They will always let this person uh, get through this obstacle smoothly, not just human. So how can this man not achieve uh, passing mark, or how can this man not achieve success in what he pursues? So it happened. He got it. He got in. So uh, there is a 
different case, same thing. Uh, this is a case of a man who has grown up, but his attitude has changed 180 degrees from what he was when he was a kid. So I think Yao Fan grew up with him. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to say it. And he said, this guy is uh, Mr. Feng, I think, Feng Kai. Uh, he, no, Mr. Li, sorry, Li Jian. Mr. Li Jian, so Mr. Li, he um able to face slander without um able to without you know without being angry. He able to uh solely and he able to hide his sword in his scabbard, for lack of a better word. He able to uh, preserve uh hold on his anger. Uh, he didn't even say that. He just say that he accepted with a peaceful heart. So it goes beyond what I can fathom because I'm I'm. A, uh, I'm uh, my cultivation is not there, but what he did is he able to accept it with a peaceful heart. Uh, he doesn't even have that uh, look of trying to debate on slanders. So those are the sign of people who are humble, who means who have a big heart, who are able to take in fortunes. So he also bring out another classic word is every single fortune has its omen before it happens. Every single diseased, same thing, has its omen before it be, happens. So fortune has its omen. Disease has its omen first as well. So if heart is very humble, which means patience, able to take in uh, a lot of good and bad, uh, without moved, without you know being uh, excited and all that, being able to have a calm and peaceful heart, then the heavens will protect will will fulfill what you require what you need uh brother this man will definitely get into the examination and every time he say that that person will definitely get into the examination people who doesn't know this principle might say hey this guy must have like ability to see through uh people's uh, life and all that but upon his explanation i we, we understand a person he observed very well because he was practicing this virtue as well i can see that and he um able to see this person having this level of cultivation definitely will be able to accept this level of fortune so move on to mr zhao um mr zhao is from shandong so same thing but this one is a case of fail why he failed he started very well right he's a smart kid he's like a genius in his uh, village, because not many people can take in this exam at the age of 10 or 9, I think. He said Tong Nian, so when he was a kid, he able to uh, get into the first rank, first level of examination in his uh, village. And just for context, it start from the village to the province, to the uh, capital, in front of the king, uh, emperor, in front of the emperor. So, he has managed to pass his village examination. However, he's stuck there until he's grown up. That's it. It's like people see he can go far, you know, he, he, he has potential. But what happened? So here's what happened. Uh, his father was worried that he keeps, you know, stuck in that position, not able to move up since he was a young boy. So his father was actually a county magistrate kind of thing, like very uh, low ranking officer, but still an officer, uh, low ranking officials in, in, in a place called Jiashan, maybe in a province. Um, and his father taking that position, obviously whole family follows. Um, however, he invite a teacher for Mr. Lee, you know, Lee's father invited teacher for Mr. Lee so that uh, he can practice writing better, you know, good impression and all that. However, um, when he wrote his article and essay, his teacher immediately just wiped it all out. Uh, he, this teacher is famous, uh, I think, and he, he's wiping all his uh, uh, work. And then uh, Mr. Zhao, sorry, not Mr. Lee, is it Zhao or Lee? Zhao, sorry. Mr. Zhao is not angry. So surprisingly, he's not angry. Um, he very, uh, how to say, he take it in very well. You know? 
so when you draw a painting, right? Imagine your father or your mother in, uh, invited your painting master or some painting teachers. So the first thing they do is not telling you this could be better, that could be better, or hi, how are you? It's walking in and just wipe it all out uh, after you've done like three hours trying to impress your teacher on their first meeting. So this is what happened to him. So think of that. So what he did is he did not get angry at all. He's just like, oh, yes, 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 I need to change quickly. That means he's ready to learn. He's, he's ready to learn. He's not trying to put up the face or trying to, you know, beat around the bush, play around. He's serious about learning. So he picked it up very quick and he changed according to his teacher, his teaching. So he's one-hearted. You know, immersion. So very quick, doesn't wait long. Next year, after he met this teacher, got correction, he got in. We got into the next stage of examination. Yeah, and he was, um, I think he was uh, summoned into the court in Beijing. I think back then it's still Beijing, right? Ming Dynasty. Uh, he summoned to the court to see the emperor, to 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 have an audience with the emperor. That's the word. And then Master Mr. Liao must be there, otherwise he won't be able to say it. It's like I was there seeing him. Uh, you know, saying hi to emperor, saying hi to emperor, and he saw his um, he saw his uh, his attitude, his aura is very, uh, how to say, peace and very, let's say, approachable. The humble people are approachable, guys. They are not like high up, even though they have a high ranking, high position. When you get close to them, they feel warm. They feel uh, warm. So I think he say that he he qi xu yi xia his uh his uh qi is very low. That means he doesn't have the the high arrogance and all that. Because arrogance sometimes equates to anger. When people anger, they all have all that, you know, things we call it venting, right? In China uh, in English. Vent. So the qi is coming out trying to get out. Qi is like air kind of thing. So so this guy does not have that. He's very peace, he's very calm, and he he, he everything is just nice, perfect. And his humility has affected everyone else. So everyone also, their chi gets down. So they don't get angry around him. Uh, think about, before I move on, um, I suggest, like, think about people in your life who you encounter gives you that sense of energy, that calming energy, that um, we call it chilling energy, but a very positive way, not lazy way. Like, as in, it's very... Um, empowering in a sense like you, if you get close to that person you feel at ease. Uh, at the same time you don't you don't get angry easily so guys this is the effect of a person who cultivate uh, this virtue uh, if not only for themselves it brings everyone else as well into that magnetic for uh, field we use the scientific term the magnetics you know you affect people around you right you you uh, align their magnetism towards yours if your magnetic is strong enough so um same thing for uh, him so try to think about people in your life who actually did that or not did that who actually have that view when you get close to him and try to observe closely to that person uh, that uh, if this person does happen in your life to observe his or her demeanors like his her attitude or the the way uh, they speak to others, the way they they um, handle things when emergency comes in. If you manage to work with them, learn learn from them, and yeah, you will you will go far in your life. So teachers are everywhere. Uh, do not uh, as you can see from their fun. He learn he learn all the time. He don't just read the book. That's it. He, he experienced life. Otherwise, he becomes a bookworm. See, we don't have a term in English, bookworm. And when you hear bookworm, it's a, it's a praise. This guy likes the book. But at the same time, it's like you're lacking experience. You can't deal with actual people in life. You have to go out, learn what you learn from the book and experience it. Like, is it corresponding to the book or is something against the book or something's not right? So I need to resolve it without that conflict when you're learning or without that differences you will never know 
you will not you will not able to grow your ability to uh, your wisdom. You know, you will not be able to grow your wisdom. So all these need, are needed to grow. So Leo Fan has seen that. So I'm gonna bring like negative example, like the opposite of it, and how they how humble benefits this kind of people. So Leo Fan has uh, continued, and yes, that's the example of uh, Mr. Zhang. Yes, Jiang, Mr. Zhang Wei Yan from Jiang Ying area. So Mr. Zhang, he has been uh, famous actually before he went for the examination of his um, works, calligraphy. Calligraphy is a, one of the big things in examination. It shows your attitudes. It shows your uh, aura, your elegant, uh, your class in a sense. Uh, <clears throat> so he has fame among the arts the world of calligraphy, the art of calligraphy. So he's supposed to pass the examination because, you know, you're good. You know, people people like people with class, elegance and all that as a as official good example for the people. So he went to the exam in Nanjing uh, in China for a first level exam. And he stayed in a temple uh, during that night. Uh, it's common. They stay in a temple for lodgman uh, so to wait for exam and then after exam they stay again to wait for results when result was announced he got nothing not even 105 got nothing so he's out he actually got very angry he scolded the examiner uh, in the public I think yeah because if he's not doing that in public next thing won't happen so he thought, you're blind, examiner. You're blind. Like I'm, I, I have fame in my calligraphy. I, I have recognitions. Like I have talents. Like I went for uh, China got talent in a sense, yeah. And I got recognized by people. So why am I not getting in? You are blind. This must be your wrong. So it's something like that. The sentiment is like that. So when he did this um, rounds of uh, colorful words, scolding. There was a Taoist monk passing by him. He didn't say Taoist, he just said Yi Taoja. So someone who looks like cultivation. So there's a uh, spiritual practitioner passing by him. Right. And he stand aside, I think it's Taoist monk. He says stand aside and laugh at him. It's like he's not laugh, he's like he smile at him. So obviously when someone's scolding, you obviously will hide or you will walk away so that you don't like same thing for men uh, for people who are humble. People who are angry that the chi, the the atmosphere, yes, the atmosphere is tense, right? So you don't want to get into there and get 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 dragged in. Same thing, but he, he did not do the 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 Taoist man just stand there and smile at him. So you can see that. Mr. Zhang obviously already get very angry, shifts the anger to him. It's like, why are you laughing? Yeah? Why are you laughing? And then this uh Tobi's monk uh, says something very funny. Like uh, he say, "Mister, I think your work is bad. That's why. It must be that your work is bad. Is uh, how to say is is disqualified. Uh, that means your work is not good enough. Oh my God! You can imagine that, right? Like Mister Zhang thought, he, well, I've been recognized by, you know, this, this, and that, that, this." This this uh, this circle of calligraphy lovers. How can I be bad, right? And he angry and say you didn't you haven't even saw my work. How can you say it's bad? Mister Dao say. I heard that people who are very like master, he just got recognized guys. He's not master. A master at calligraphy, people who master the stroke of calligraphy and everything about calligraphy. The first thing. The first ingredient they must have is to have a peace and calm mentality. So, using the literal translation, they are qi uh, must be peaceful. This means they don't have that uh, turbulence inside. Right, the air is calm and circulating. Their heart is equal. They don't have that anger or. Over joy or 
very angry or sad, nothing. They are very peace. Just like meditation. What try what we're trying to do with chanting Amito for or meditating is to get this level. That thing is the key to everything, guys. So same thing for calligraphy. If you want to master calligraphy, you need to have a peace and calm mentality. When I hear you scolding the examiner, it's obvious. You're not peaceful. You're not calm. That means you're not equal. Your heart is not equal. You are moving towards an extreme, which is anger or hatred. Um, how can you have a good result coming from that heart? Right? Everything comes from there, right? Everything comes from here. So what you do, it's writing according to the instruction from here. If this is wrong, nothing else will be right, guys. This is just a machine. This is actually where it is. So, Mr. Zhang is a Du Su Ren. He has obviously studied the classics. That means he knows the teachings. Whether he's practicing or not is another case. Same goes to me. Whether I actually practicing properly or not is another case. But the thing is, he knows the teaching. That means he kind of know what is right and wrong. Whether it applies to his actual life, that uh, needs to be practiced. But he knows. So immediately he got uh, convinced. He's not just convinced. He's, the Taoist monk is not trying to convince him. He's just trying to tell him what it is. He um, respects he, uh, how to say, he, he got convinced, he got, um, how to say, his chi was down. So he, he feel like this uh, monk has been saying a uh, truth, something very uh, makes sense to him. And he suddenly turned his attitude 180 degree and being very humble and asked, uh, so uh, master, could you teach me what I sh what should I do in order to reach that level that you mentioned? Uh, Mr. Dao, uh, no, in order to pass the examination, that's what he wants. Mr. Dao say, if you want to get in to what you want, like if you want to achieve success in examination, for our case, in, this applies to us, guys, in your career, in your family, uh, everything, in becoming a Buddha. It all takes Ming. So, Zhong Quan Yao Ming. So, if you want to get uh, successful, it relies on the destiny. Destiny book must have your uh, name in this success category of this category. If your destiny said that you should not get in, like you should not be successful, then you will not be successful. So, from this first two sentences, it might sound like, oh, you're, yeah, you, it's already written up there. So, you know, if you don't get it, yeah, it's too bad, guys. But we need to finish the sentence. And that's something we need to learn as well nowadays in media. I, I, I diverge myself, but I think it's important. Because his first two sentences says that your life has been written in a book. Sounds like that. And if we didn't finish the rest, we'll just close Leo Fan's book and say, what's the whole point of this? Right? Leo Fan says, change your destiny. And then you end up with saying a destiny. See, Chi must come down and we must continue to finish so he said, if you're, you're only good at techniques of writing, but you are not, it's useless to be good at just techniques. Techniques is mechanical, guys. Everyone will learn to get better as they get better at it. But as among all the people who have the technique, not everyone can be successful, isn't it? Like you can cook so well, like maybe your technique of chopping and all that is correct, but not everyone can become a master chef or something. Because as you can see, it's so stressful and all that. It takes more than just simply able to chop your... It's a, it's a basics, but it takes more than that. Like, including the this... Um, like, what a uh, Buddhist uh, monk doing. Like, they, they... Like, everyone can master the technique of speak. Uh, giving the jiang jing and all that. But how many people actually become gao sheng da de, Become a truly respected, venerable master? I'm not talking about fame. I'm talking about attainment. It takes more than just simply able to talk, like me. It takes, I, I just know how to talk. But if you want, look at Master Ching Kong or look at uh, the, the historical patriarchs, they don't just talk, they act, and they have more qualities than just that. So 
over here as well, even your technique in calligraphy is good, is recognized, it's useless. You have to change yourself. That's what he follows. That's the following words. You have to change yourself. And then Mr. Zhang brings out a point that we usually get used to when we hear destiny. That all the movies is like, oh, destiny bounds me to this. Or, you know, I want to change my destiny. So Mr. Zhang has that common view and say, you say it's a destiny. How can you change your destiny? See, this is the worldly view, guys. All the sages do not say that. Right? You just say that destiny is there because you, because it's there because he didn't explain it. Obviously, you know, karmic, what you did in the past. So, right now, Mr. Uh, Taoist monk says, people, people who set the destiny is in the heaven. So, the heaven sets your destiny. Right? But, if you want to change, if you want to establish uh, a new a new path in your life, a new uh, the next step in your life, you you are the one who sets the motion forward. If you want to change your life, it's up to you. The destiny is written in the book in heaven, but the person who can change it, the person who can um, establish uh, a new path out of it, is you. So destiny is there, obviously. We're born to whatever family. As you can see, guys, like if there's no destiny, everyone should have been born to a wealthy place. I'm not talking about the earth. This is not wealthy place, guys. Not enough. We have all overpopulation. If I have ability to choose, I will not born here. I will born into a, a place sparsely populated uh, with a very good family. Everyone's taken care of and have a moral and virtue society, right? <laughs> You won't choose here. You won't choose a, a, a messy one. So destiny, that's destiny. Like your parents, the, uh, your, 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 your siblings, everything's destiny because of the past karmic. We have Buddhist knowledge. So past karmic deeds is also by you. So it's still you in the end. But uh, it was set in motion already when you were born. But right now, as if now, the oh, the one who's listening to this or reading this little fun is you. You can change it. You can make a new path out of it. So how do you make a new path out of it? He do not wait. He continues. He say, do good. Do good. Do good deeds. Accumulate a lot. See, he emphasized a lot of hidden virtues. Broadly accumulate the hidden virtues. Broadly as in the way I see it is, it's not just simply, um, you know, uh, you do it anytime, anywhere. You know, don't restrict yourself. As long as you can do it, you just do it. Guangji ying de. And hidden virtues do not show, do not flash your virtues. If you do good, do it and let it, do it well and let it go. Move on. Uh, so, which... Uh, if you have this attitude, if you have done these good deeds and you've hidden virtues accumulated, obviously you have fortunes. There's no way you would not have fortunes. Mr. Zhang say, I'm poor. Ah, I like this guy. This is even more impactful, guys, than the first two examples, which is good. But because this one is the one that reflects all the common people's thinking, including myself sometimes. Like, like I'm poor. How can I do it? How can I accumulate merits. See, he think only in terms of money, giving money. I have no money, so I, 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 cannot, I cannot accumulate. And Mr. Tao say, doing good deeds, all right, uh, accumulating hidden virtues, merits, they're all coming from the heart. All right, if you have this heart of wanting to do good, of wanting to help, wanting to benefit others, all right, your fortunes will be infinite. Your merits will be infinite. Your merits and fortunes will be infinite. And the virtues you accumulated will be infinite as well. And among all these merit and virtues, humility does not cost you any sense. How, why not you reflect upon that? Using humility as the way for you to accumulate these fortunes and merits. 
instead of scolding the examiners. So Mr. Zhang, like, he's convinced, fully convinced. As you can see, even though he's uh, prideful, but he able to accept, he able to change his atmosphere, his aura, his uh, attitude. You know, attitude affects your aura. And hence, he take, he cut down his um, boastfulness. Yes, he's cut down his boastfulness. He begins, he, he started to um, become more uh, aware of his action. So he, he has uh, taken down another level, a notch. No more boastfulness, more aware, more careful. And he um, accumulated the merits by doing deeds that he could. Not just money, guys. You don't have to donate, guys. You, have, you can, you should, if you have. But what's more important is the heart. Heart of humility, a heart of loving, a heart of... You know, the heart that really cares for others, helping others. That's more important, guys. And he accumulates uh, the good deeds. He um, accumulates the virtues. So it gets thicker and thicker. So on a time, I mean, I don't know the Chinese way of calculating. Things you nian. So basically, a few years later, I guess, uh, he has a dreamt of a very tall uh, building. When in there, there is a examination book, you know, exam results report. There is a lot of, uh, inside the book, there's a lot of, uh, in his dream, right? There's a lot of uh, uh, blank space in the book. Uh, he asked that person standing next to it and say, this year, uh, this examination, obviously it says examination of what year? This year. Why are there so many missing names because obviously it looks like it's being wiped out um it says that uh, that person answers like to get into imperial examination to pass through this exam uh, every three years we will have to revise what do they revise on uh first that person who pass it must have if they want to pass the exam right for these three years this this is a cycle they must have accumulate the merits without any faults. So they must always accumulate virtues, preserve the virtues, or even better, accumulate virtues without faults. So they do not commit the faults. Only then they can keep their name. If they have uh, faults in their merits, if they have leaking their merits, uh, doing something wrong, then, you know, they, even though their name were there, because of their um, unwholesome, mm, bad act, bad deeds, uh, their name will be get, uh, their name will be removed. So this is like you know like like Santa Claus, like you're in the naughty list. So basically, if you're in the people, people are laughing like, ah, this is for kids, guys. It's not, guys. It's not. Like in human world, we have police record, guys. We have police record. Like, let's think about that. Right? We have police record. We have someone called blacklisted. In the company world, we have sanctioned list. A list of people who got sanctioned by uh, US government or by the world organization because of their deeds. How can we say that our deeds were not recorded by the heavens above or by the spiritual realms? It's not logical if you think like that. Even among humans, we have these records. Even in school, we have these records. Even in our mind, we have these records. All right? So, obviously, everything else will have that as well. So, this is what happened, basically. He's in the, uh, he, uh, that person who failed is in the naughty list. So, his name got wiped out and he won't get any uh, uh, examination or even improved promotion. So, we can apply this in our current life your promotions, getting your uh, ideal, uh, because young people, right, uh, ideal uh, couple, or uh, getting a exam pass, obviously, and getting, uh, you know, your children uh, 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 higher merits and stuff. Yeah, same thing. This, this, there's a list on there. So he said that uh, you have been quite careful 
of your actions uh, and deeds for these three years um, so that your name will be filled in here. So your name will be restored back to this list. Thank goodness you uh, are a self-loving person. In self-loving, it means you do not do something that harm your merits, your virtues, your character. So you are trying to be a good man and you are doing good deeds. So very good. And you haven't do a lot of faults. So you are in. So he got one, 105. That's why I mentioned 105. He doesn't even get 105 in the beginning. He got in 105. And then you can imagine to get number one is a lot of merit. A lot. So as you can see from here, uh, he used the old ways of saying it is when you look up three feet high, there is always a God looking at you. There's always a, a spirit God looking at you and looking at your deeds. So, to pursue merits, to pursue fortunes and avoid disasters, uh, it all comes from you. You're the decider of why, of, of where you go, disaster or fortune. So how do you how do you decide? Your heart, your what's inside your heart, what's in your mind, you know. You cannot have anything that will uh, offend the heavens, offend the ghost. Uh, so what offends the heaven? What offends the ghost? First of all, what doesn't offend the ghost is a person who are very humble, able to take in losses. You know, apparent losses, guys. Apparent. So in Chinese, it's called empty your heart. Not full of yourself. Empty your heart and able to take in, uh, uh, take in the losses or able to um, rampu, uh, able to uh, take in the losses. Yeah, that's how I can see. So that the heaven and the ghost they will always be uh, sympathetic towards me. So, only this kind of person has ability to accept fortunes. Just like a valley. You know, valley always filled in with sands and all that. People who are already a mountain, they were always leaking out the sands and all that. This is how the world is. Um, so be humble, empty yourself, uh, able to accept everything, uh, learn to accept, even though it's hard and you might get angry and all that, learn from it, improve from it, uh, always give more space for others than yourself. Uh, if you can give as much, give as much, uh, take in as much loss as you can. Um, first of all, you might feel like, oh, you know, I feel so bad, oh, you want to cry and all that, it's fine. It's like, I would cry as well, feel so bad, but let it go, move on. Uh, you uh, Understanding this, you know that what's owed to you will be paid back to you. Maybe with now, maybe in future, maybe in next life. The more it drags, as you understand the banking terms, the more interest rate they incurred. <laughs> so it, it's fair, guys, it's fair. All right. <clears throat> it will be fair. Just need to be patient. So, people who are full of themselves, I mean, qi, in, in, we use qi, guys, not in terms of oxygen in Chinese. Qi is like everything, force of life, in the, the, the attitude of a person. Qi uh, zhi, class, arrogance, elegance, uh, the class of a person, the aura of a person, the way the person carry themselves, we use qi to describe. So, qi is like essence of life in a sense. And it can represent in many forms. Kong Qi is the very mechanical way of saying it's oxygen. But it, Qi can use everywhere. I'm, I'm aware the world is quite aware of the Qi because of the Qi Gong. But um, in this case, Qi just means your attitudes. Right? Person who are full of themselves, uh, it means that Qi is full. So any, like, as you can see, arrogant people, when you touch their... Uh, you know, sensitive part, they will be like, uh, they will come out or they will appear very proud. So remember, arrogance equals to anger. The same thing. So because you, you're arrogant, your ego was there. If your ego was not fulfilled, you get angry. 
So back to the point, uh, people who are arrogant will never go far. They, are, they may be good at what they are doing, that's it. Like a mountain, they cannot go further. Um, yep. Even they have got the examination or anything, they can't use it. Because um, they're full of themselves, so they can't apply in a new way or open up a new path. They're stuck there. They're stuck with the way they think, because they think it's the best already. Anyone who has slight sense of awareness, self-awareness, or ability to see through this problem of arrogance, will never ever uh, be able to do it to themselves. Do what to themselves? Restrict themselves. Narrow themselves, stuck themselves in a corner or in a little point there and thinking, yeah, I'm the highest while you have a whole universe out there. Uh, so don't do that to yourself. It's painful. And reject more merits from flowing in. Guys, no one wants merits to be stopped flowing in. Everyone wants infinite merit, infinite wisdom. Amitabha means that. So infinite merits, infinite fortunes. People who are arrogant will restrict, narrow themselves and unable to accept more fortunes, more merits. Uh, also, being humble, being able to take in things, good and bad, has shown that this person able to change, able to transform, able to get better. Remember, in our career, in my in our field in banking and or I think in, in the career field, people tend to employ young people. Why? Because young people are able to change, able to bend, able to mold. However, I, I believe it's not just young people. It's just most of the time because we didn't experience things, so we're able to take in easily. But if anyone, including middle-aged people you've been working in, you have some mid-life crisis, I already have quite a life crisis, don't worry. So life crisis is, um, uh, you think about what should I do? Empty yourself. Start learning like a young people. And for young people, start learning and never change that ability to learn. Always want to learn more. Even though you're 60, 70, 90, like Master Chico, he's still learning. He didn't stop. So why should we? Even when you pass away, next life, you still have to learn, guys. If you don't go to Pure Land, you go to Pure Land, you still have to learn. Amitabha will sit. No, you go to Pure Land just for learning. That's the first thing. You sit there in front of Amitabha Buddha. You never leave that because you can move around with your other bodies. I'm talking about far because we're all Pure Land practitioners. So, yeah, you're still learning, guys. No matter where you go, uh, keep learning. Don't think that you already know everything. No, never, never. Uh, also, um, 取善无穷, yes. You can get uh, kindness, good deeds infinite good deeds. So everyone who wants to practice, who wants to cultivate uh, uh, goodness, wants to cultivate spiritual um, attainment and all that, or even get successful in their life pursuits, uh, they must first thing be able to be humble so that people can teach this person. You're able to take in, you're able to suppress, uh, control your anger and all that, able to take in, understand the actual thing that matters. It's not your face, it's actually learning something. Your face means nothing when you pass away. Your What you learn means you can do more. And those merits and virtues is more important than just the face. And, uh, and only then, when you learn, you're able to uh, extract the good stuff and do it put it elsewhere, you know, you're able to grow, you're able to grow everything in every aspect, attitude, characters, career, spiritual attainment. So you cannot lack of this word humble in your cultivation, no matter what you pursue in. In the ancient word saying that a person who has ambition to achieve gongming, to achieve success in uh, we don't just use career, it's very narrow in, in, in something, you know, you want to achieve, you want to be a great person, great achievement in the field that you pursue. Uh, they will definitely get it. A person who has strong ambition, strong view to get there, they will get it. A person who has strong view to get fortunes, to get uh, wealth, they really want to get the wealth, they will definitely get the wealth. Uh, because if a person has a will, 
has an ambition, like a tree has a root. After setting up this ambition, all right, every single thought must be humble. Once you know what you want, you already have the root. But to grow that root, you need to be humble so that you can take in more stuff, more nutrients, more, more information, everything you need to grow this ambition. And you must always be expedient in every way, you know, so that you can improve yourself to be a better person to achieve this ambition. You already have the root. Naturally, because of your virtues, you will definitely touch the heavens and the earth. In a sense, you touch everyone else around you. Uh, not just people, everywhere. So, person who creates the fortune is myself. All right? Therefore, you are the one who creates a fortune. Right now, people who, all, who go for the imperial examination and they, uh, sorry, they're calling now. Sorry. Um, nowadays, people who uh, pursues the Kirti, pursues the um, imperial examination, they don't really want it. Why? Because they just want to um, get that, you know, hype. Yes, they just go for the hype. So, like, everyone's doing it, he's doing it for the fun of it. So, when they got it, they just ask. No, no. When they feel like it, they ask. When they, when they don't feel like doing it, they stop. So, Manchus say that uh, Mr. Uh, the, the, uh, this this one last 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 sentence I haven't truly understand it, but Wang Zi Hao Le Shen Qi Qi Shu Qi Hu Yu Yu Ke Ming Yi Ran. So he said that yeah, I don't understand that. So I'm not gonna explain it wrongly. But the point is already there. He said that if you really want something, you will pursue it no matter how hard it is. You will always pursue it no matter how hard. Like even there's obstacle, it goes against your way, you will still move on. If people who just do it for the sake of the hype or say that they got um like they got warm up because of this speech or something, but they didn't actually um build enough view that they really want this. So when they got it and everything goes well, they will take on this path. But when everything goes wrong, they will stop and turn back. So therefore they were never able to reach the apex or the top of what they want. So they never get really, they will never really make it in a sense. So I hope that um, this little fun uh, session will be uh, helps all of us to understand the whole uh, thing about destiny is it might be set, it might be fixed, it might be very uh, hard to see where you're going from there. But always remember, everything is done um, by you in the past and also on the you can change where you want to go from this point onwards. So do not be um, sad or anything. Just remember that um, every time there is something wrong, always look into yourself, always reflect yourself. Only then you're able to, um, you're able to change anew because only transforming yourself, you're able to see things in a new way, in the broader way. So do not narrow yourself. Uh, hope that you can uh, use uh, how, no matter how much from this book, even one thing from this book. I hope that what that one thing can benefit you for the rest of your life. So I hope that uh, we can continue this little fun. Uh, or if we want to move on to Yu Jin Yi Gong, we can discuss it next time. Uh, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, let us dedicate our merits. Uh, sorry, 10 times Amitabha for and dedicate our merits. We use Chinese for dedication. Uh, me to fo a mi 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 Oh
Amitofo, thank you so much. Thank you.